guys, we're here on the red carpet with Chris August. Chris August. Thanks what's up, what's up? Oh, oh yeah, up. that's how we do it. Party time, red carpet. <laughs> now, this is not your first trip down the red carpet. Not You've been all. here a few times. You've won Doves. You're a pro at this by now. Well, that's what I try to tell people. <laughs> but really, I'm, I'm still, I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I'm still like, y'all, you'll see Chris Tomlin over there. That was yeah, pretty right? cool. Who was that? Who was that you know, right I'm just saying. I, I, no, I'm like, a, I'm a fan too. So it's, right? it's still, it's still surreal. Like, I've done it a ton of times, but it's like, I'm walking on red carpet it's with the doves. It's amazing. That, yeah, that's I was cool. just going to ask, is it still exciting or is it more yeah. like, I can relax and kind of just have fun. Well, it's exciting, but I'm not as anxious and nervous anxious, as I was yeah. before. I'm kind of like, okay, this is cool. I mean, I've, I've done, done it before. I've, I've done it a few times. Done. I'm not like sweating like, oh, what do I, you know? <laughs> so who have you been most excited to see tonight? Well, you know what's funny is uh, sometimes I'm a little left in the dark of who's performing. So I actually kind of came. I was like, don't, don't even tell me. I'm going to let it surprise me tonight. Okay. So I, nice. I don't even know who's playing. I'm All just right. like, I'm in for the show. You're I did, I did walk out uh, during some sound check when a couple certain artists and I was I was getting pretty stoked. But I don't want to ruin anything, so I'm just going to let it just happen. Okay. And the spirit was pretty strong in there walking walking in and out. So that's, I think we that's have a good right. show. That's right. Now I'm going to throw it back a few months. I know that earlier this year you had your debut on the Grand Ole Opry. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. I mean, come on. It's come the on. Grand Ole Opry. It's the Grand Ole Opry. I, I was, you know, it, it's nothing. It's like you get, you're like, okay, yeah, you just say yes to it. You're like, oh, of course I will. And then. You get there, and then all of a sudden you're standing in the in spot, the and you're like, you know who has stood here? Like, I don't deserve to be up here, but it's, it's. I was kind of like, yes, thank so, you. And the, and the band that plays with you oh, is, yeah, so oh, yeah. So on. even though you're not a country artist, yeah. it was still a big kind Yeah, and, I, and like I, I have like this bluesy kind of, kind of yes. stomping yes. kind of yes. sound yeah. on, on a couple songs, so I played those. Oh, okay. And, and it was, I mean, it was sold out night like every night it is. Yeah. And just to see it, it was electric. And. I was very appreciative of it. I'll do that any day they want me to, but yes. Now, of course, you write a lot of your own music as well, but if there was one country song that you could have written, what would it be? Well, I don't, I know, you know, it's funny. Like, I don't necessarily, I sort of consider this a country song, and people will be like, that's not country, but I think I count it as country. It's, ba it's old. Okay. I Can't Make You Love Me, Bonnie Ray. Oh, Bonnie Ray. Yeah, and, of and, course. Because I, when I think of that song, I, I feel like that is a country song, like in the sentiment of it. Mm -hmm. And to, even from back when I would listen to it, I'm like, it just felt like a country song to me. Well, and Martina I think that, McBride covered it, so it's country now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, when I said Bonnie Raitt, I meant Martina McBride. No, I'm just kidding. No, but, you know, I've always loved that song. And, it, you know, even back in the day, you know, I, was a, I grew up on Garth Brooks and Tim McGraw and all that. Uh -huh. So, you know, for me, you know, There's even, oh, my gosh, big time. I mean, you, Garth Brooks' greatest hits is like the best CD ever released, know. you know? <laughs> now, of course, Erica Campbell, Sadie Robertson are co-hosting tonight. And they both come from reality TV backgrounds with their families. But we were talking, if you put them on a reality show together, like Survivor, who do you think would win? Oh, I'm going to have to say Erica. <laughs> you know, I just say, I don't know why, I just, you know, I'll just say both of them. It'll be even. It's just a tie. It's, a, it's just a tie. tie. Girls will you, band together and just you know, help each other. I just plead the fifth, you know. <laughs> Some, a lot of people are doing that. Tonight. It's yeah. smart. It's Scared a smart. One, one it's, the, it's politically correct, you know. Now the new single, he's still here. Tell us about that. Yeah, it's a song. I mean, oh, the song means a lot to me. I, I dealt with. A, I had a brain injury about three years ago, and I was in ICU for a bit. I had a brain swell, brain bleeding thing, and I, I dealt with a pain pill addiction uh, after that. Um, just uh, and more physically than emotionally, but I, my, I would get sick if I didn't take them. Finally, weaned myself off. Then got diagnosed with depression. And then, basically, after three months, uh, the Lord healed me completely. I haven't taken a pill since. Like, just like that. And I, the song was in response to that. So many times, I think, we think of the Lord's healing for 2,000 years ago, like when he was here. But that's the whole point of the birth and the cross and the resurrection is that he's still here, still Doing moving. Doing same thing. Exactly. Awesome. Yeah, well, that's amazing. Praise God for, for healing and, amen, amen. and inspiration for new songs. And amen, all amen. <laughs> well, thanks so much for stopping by to chat with us. And My uh, hopefully you'll get the surprises that you were waiting for tonight yeah, during the show. Enjoy the show. Hey, it'll be good no matter what. <laughs>